in five, four, three. <laughs> All righty. Assalamu alaikum. Peace. Yes, we are live. Okay. Whoops. Let me get on here. There we go. All right. Assalamu alaikum. Peace. It's your coach, Coach Nyla, one of the co-founders of Outstanding Personal Relationships, as well as co-author of the book, Let's Talk Polygamy Uncensored. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our poly teach and chat. <laughs> so we're going to give um, a little bit of time. Make sure you share sharing is caring. We're going to get started in about 30 seconds or so. So make sure you share um, on your social media platforms and all that other good stuff. We have a great, great teach and chat today where we're going to discuss jealousy and polygamy and jealousy and polygyny and how to break free from that, how to do the jealousy detox. All right. If that is something that you think that someone should listen to, should know about, make sure you're sharing it with them. Don't be greedy. Don't be stingy. Okay. So I'm going to share myself or I'm going to share myself. I'm going to share as well. And um, in about 30 minutes, we are going to get started. I mean, 30 minutes, not in 30 minutes, guys, in 30 seconds, we're going to get started. That's a long time you'll be waiting. All right. So give me a second so I can share and you guys do the same. And if you need to make sure you get your tea, coffee or whatever for this teaching chat. And I'll see you in about 30 seconds. Assalamu alaikum. Peace. Again, it's Coach Nyla, one of the co-founders of Outstanding Personal Relationships. I will be with you today with our Poly Teach and Chat. And make sure you let me know where you guys are watching from. Thank you for spending this time. This is a very important topic. We get it, we get questions on it and comments on it so much on our social media feeds. Um, as well as within um, our email or our email boxes or our mailboxes or whatever. And that's on jealousy, you know, jealousy and polygyny. How do you overcome it? How do you break free from it? All of that stuff. And as well as our campus, if you guys are not part of the campus, make sure you be a part of that. We do so much there and you get a lot of great training. And that uh, is at polygamyeducation.com. Okay. So, we're going to get started, but let me know where you guys are watching from. Let me know how the weather is. Um, we have been traveling <laughs> and I'm going to give you guys some updates in a little bit, a little bit later um, of what's been going on. But we are excited because if you guys have not heard, that means you're not part of our email list. So you make sure you go to Outstanding Personal Relationships. Dot com so you can do that. Um, we are going to have a live tomorrow. Um, on that, on our travels and traveling and polygyny and all that other good stuff. So if you guys are not part of that list, you don't know about it. So make sure you do that and go there. So again, uh, well, I like my salon too long, you better cat too. Okay, so jealousy and polygyny. This is a big topic because that's mainly <laughs> what um, a lot of us as wives um well, do I want to say complain about? Yes, complain about. <laughs> complain about, ask about, have issues with um, for a number of different reasons. Um, our jealousies can stem from lack of confidence. I know you're like, okay, what, what do you mean, Coach and I, lack of confidence? <laughs> you know, it's a lot of it has to do with lack of confidence, um, lack of confidence within ourselves. Um, one of my mentors, he said, well, what is the root word of confidence? And he says, some people are like con. No, con is not the root word of confidence. It's a piece of it, <laughs> but it's not the root word. The root word is confide. And in order to confide, you need to trust. 
Are you confiding in your husband? Are you confiding in yourself? Do you have confidence in your marriage? Is that where the jealousy is stemming from? You know, let me know in the comments of what that looked like for you um, if you experience a lack of trust in your marriage. You know, put you know, put the little hand raise emoji in the comments if you've experienced that where it was this lack of trust. But you, we have to think about is that lack of trust really the lack of trust in our husband or is it a lack of trust in ourselves and how we were handling things and i'm not here to judge or tell you that you're the bad guy or he's the bad guy or anything like that i'm just saying that we really truly need to be um we need to think about it we need to be um, what's the word i'm looking for we need to be pretty much on our p's and q's we need to be intentional when it comes to what our marriage is looking like, we have to be intentional. We need to see our part. <laughs> okay. I know you guys who've been following us for a minute have heard me talk about Daniel Tiger a lot. Hey, I'm a mother of a five-year-old, a seven-year-old, and I have five biological children and they pretty much grew up on Daniel Tiger. And Daniel Tiger has very good lessons, not just for kids, but for adults as well. And I really want to be, I want to be fair to say that it's only for kids and only kids need to learn these lessons because I really believe that the adults need to watch Daniel Tiger and they need to take notes on what that little tiger has to say. So <laughs> the thing is, is that there are a number of different things and Daniel Tiger teaches kids to be intentional and think about what they can do better. Not what the other person can do. Not the issues that the other person may be having or doing or the problems that they uh, put out there. Because it may be how we are taking certain things or it may be the energy that we are putting out there. As I stated before, our confidence. Can we confide in ourselves to do the right thing? Can we confide in ourselves to know that we could be part of the problem and we should be part of the solution right so <laughs> so the thing is when it comes to that jealousy part when it comes to that i'm going to give you some what i call the four d's to detox detoxing and jealousy and one of those D's is defined. Define it. Define what jealousy is to you. I remember putting out there about jealousy and that um, a lot of times we as co-wives or we as wives and polygyny, we are jealous. And a number of women stated, no, I'm not jealous. It's just this. And if you unravel it, <laughs> you say, well, that's what jealousy is. That's a piece of it. So you know, what does jealousy really mean? And can we, like I stated before, be truthful? Can we trust ourselves and being and and us being honest with what that looks like? What does jealousy look like to us? So defining that, defining that um, it's the side eye <laughs> oh, when our husband says he has to make a run, <laughs> when he has to possibly um, run our co-wife somewhere or accompany her somewhere, or it's her day to spend with him. Why are we jealous? Are we not confident in what our marriage is bringing to the table? What our marriage is looking like? Because that's what we should be focusing on, our marriage, our individual marriage. So what does that look like? What does your individual, what do you want for your individual, excuse me, individual marriage? And what is bringing the jealousies out in you in your individual marriage? Define that. Who are you jealous of? Who is causing the issues? Yes, it's easy to say they are doing it. This person, you know, is doing this and that's why I'm jealous. Or he didn't do this the proper way. So this is why I'm jealous. Again, we're not taking responsibility. It's easy to place blame, but is it fulfilling? 
to place blame? Because if we place blame, then we don't have the control to make it better. We're expecting them to make it better. And if they're not doing it fast enough, we can't get upset with them. Why not? Because they're going to do it at their own pace. They're responsible for what they can do. We are responsible for what we can do, right? So who, who is causing the jealousy? A lot of times we got to understand we are causing it because a lot of it can be the stories we make up in our heads. A lot of it can be how we are taking a particular thing. A lot of it can be lack of clarity. I know that was my issue on a number of things. And of course the stories <laughs> that I've had and I made up in my head about certain things, but you know how we get rid of the stories that we make up in our head, asking for clarity, communicating. And I'm going to go into that um, a little bit later. And that's the whole thing when it comes to the other Ds. Do you, why, why am I jealous? This is the defining part. Why am I jealous? Why am I feeling this way? Again, the important thing is to see our, you know, how we can fix it. Why am I jealous without blaming the other person or the other people? That is the adult way. That is the mature way is seeing what can I do? Um, and this has nothing to do with jealousy, so to speak. And again, uh, of course, I've mentioned Daniel Tiger. I'm going to do a series, guys. I'm going to do a series on what Daniel Tiger has taught me. <laughs> so you guys can understand why, why I bring him up so much. But um, I don't know about Daniel Tiger. But yes, and, um, if you guys didn't catch too when I was talking about Daniel Tiger, Daniel Tiger is a little orange tiger that came from Mr. Rogers neighborhood. Technically his dad did, but you know, I'm not going to go into the backstory of Daniel Tiger, but, <laughs> and of course I could be dating myself and those who know Mr. Rogers, you know, Mr. Rogers, Mr. Rogers was the original, the OG, and he's just original <laughs> when it came to just really being confident, being a person that is being responsible, all of that other good stuff. And he was teaching this to, to, to children. But see, these children grew up to be adults. <laughs> and now I'm teaching my children pretty much the same things. So, and I'm teaching my clients the same things. It's, this is very important because if we're learning it, if, we, if we're learning how to be responsible as children. We teach our children that, right? Put, I agree in the comments, if you agree with me, that we teach our children to be responsible, responsible for the things that they do. If they hurt their sibling, or if they did something wrong, or if they didn't listen, or they, you know, they're not operating at their best selves, or operating in their, their, their brightest light, we are teaching them how to take responsibility for that, right? So why is it okay for us to teach that for, to them, but we're not doing it within ourselves, within our marriages, even if it's in polygyny. Polygyny is not an easy you know, um, form of marriage, I would say, I should say, but marriage isn't easy anyway. I've been in monogamy and I've been in polygyny. And I'm not saying it's hard, I'm just saying it takes, it takes being intentional and it takes work and the work doesn't have to be strenuous or difficult but it can be challenging life is challenging a number of things in life can be challenging so the thing is this you want to make sure that you're being responsible so you have to ask yourself these questions why am i jealous like why am I jealous? Not who made me jealous, you know, and I said the who before, but it's not the who made me, unless we're being really honest and say, well, I made me jealous because I'm putting these things in my head. And the person may have done certain things that could cause some mistrust. I'm not saying that that's not the case, but how am I handling this? And I'm saying that from experience because there are a number of things, 
you know, case in point, I talked about earlier about, you know, if your husband has to, you know, spend time with, you know, or he's spending time with his other wife, or he is, um, he has to take her somewhere, or he has to tend to her, these different things like that. There would be certain things, and I would say that it was petty. I can, I can tell myself that, you know what, that thought is petty. That is shaitan. That's the whispers of, you know, shaitan, the devil, Satan, whoever you want to call him. It's trying to break up your marriage because he's trying to get you to feel a certain way. So you can't have peace in your marriage. Right. So um, it'd be certain things like, well, you know, man, maybe if I was, you know, sick, or maybe if I, you know, was more needy, not saying that my co-wife is needy at all. I'm not saying that when a person needs a person for a particular thing, that doesn't totally make them needy. It's just that you're like, okay, well, I want to need him too, instead of just one. Like maybe if I need him, he'll, you know, be more, you know, apt to just be around more, whatever the case may be. That's not how you want to live your life. Your husband... We'll get into that in another training too. Um, this is just a te <laughs> the teaching chat because I just really want people to understand a number of things and really take responsibility because that's when we feel more confident when we're taking responsibility. And I'm having a challenge coming up, so I'm super excited about it. That's why I'm not trying to give you... And I don't want to spend so much time on, um, on this day, of course, um, you guys haven't seen me in a minute, <laughs> probably haven't. Those who have been following us for a while, a number of you are new. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. And those who haven't um, <laughs> who've been following us for a while and haven't seen us in a while, of course, we've been traveling and I've been dealing with um, a number of things um, as far as health reasons. Um, those who know, they know, and those who don't, you know, I um, battle with rheumatism. So, you know, sometimes you guys will see me, I'm like puffy, like even now I got like the little puffy eyes and stuff and everything. But I'm like, I miss talking to our audience. I miss the lives. I miss the interaction. I miss these things. So I need to care for myself so I can be back out here. So just a little snippet of, you know, <laughs> what's been going on while you guys didn't see anything. But you know, the thing is, though, I wanted to be back out here. So I had to kind of slow down the speed up to figure out how am I going to get back out here to serve you guys, to serve the audience that is really looking to improve on their marriage, to is looking to not let the toxins of jealousy destroy their marriage. So another thing for define, and then we're going to jump through the other ones. And we're going to go through those pretty quickly because as I stated before, I do have a challenge coming up that we're going to dig deep into. This is like a five day challenge and we're digging deep into this stuff. Um, actually, while I'm talking about while I'm doing this, I'm going to put it on the screen where you guys can sign up for the challenge because I do not want you to miss it. You don't want to miss the challenge. It's a five day challenge. Um, it's coming up on the 12th. And I'm give you more details. You sign up, you'll know. Um, but let me get that out there for you. Uh -uh. One second. So here we go. So it's out there. You guys have any questions? Definitely put them in the comments, and I'll take some questions too. Well, they call to like but a cat too. Oh, Republic of Ni Federal Republic Nigeria. Alhamdulillah. Okay, so, and then the other thing is when, like, when does this jealousy pop up? Ask ourselves those questions. When does this jealousy pop up? Is it popping up when he talks about my co-wife? Does it pop up? Because this is a thing too, and I've seen it, and a number of people ask us about it. It's like, okay, you know, well, he talks about her, or she texts him, or he calls her um, while he's with me, and my time, my time, my time, and the time when he's with me. I want us to really understand this. And I'm saying this from a person who's learned and a person who teaches this because we want fulfillment. We want peace in our marriage and we should be able to communicate as adults. That's one of the most difficult things to do. I've noticed <laughs> is to communicate properly, to communicate how we feel, communicate how, you know, we would rather something happen but also to communicate to listen to the other person as well 
So that is very, very difficult. And as we're going to go through that <laughs> deeper, deeper in the challenge. So definitely the link is scrolling across. Um, for, but for those who are on IG, you guys don't see it. If you guys are on IG, <laughs> please go over to like YouTube or Facebook, definitely, because you'll see a lot more and you'll be able, and I can see your comments and your questions a lot more. And I'm not bouncing to the um, IG thing, <laughs> the, the IG screen, because for some reason, you know, IG want to do its own little thing and, you know, not be connected <laughs> in much of a way like uh, Facebook and YouTube. So it's a little difficult. Um, sometimes to make sure our IG followers get the information, but I want you guys to definitely get the information, but you will register um, if you guys are don't know, and I will put it um, up there and I'll post it in IG, but it's the, uh, it said outstandingpersonalrelationships.com slash jealousy free, outstandingpersonalrelationships.com slash jealousy free. Um, that's for the challenge. And we're going to get more into that. And we're going to get more into the how to do these things you know, how to define what this looks like, you know, how to, um, to, to, to detox, how to develop, which is the next D. And I said, you know, when, as I said, ask yourself those questions, when does this jealousy come up? Is it only when he talks about her? Is it only when um, he's leaving the house? Is it only when these things, and we have to find out what do we do? How do we overcome these things? I'm not saying that they don't happen. It's not about making sure you never get jealous. That's impossible. But being able to overcome them, to detox from them, to gain the confidence in yourself and in your marriage, to know how bomb you are, <laughs> that you don't have to worry about, you know, somebody else affecting your marriage because their marriage is going to be their marriage. I don't care what what um, timeline you have. I don't care if you're first wife, second wife, third wife, fourth wife. It doesn't matter. Your marriage is your marriage. And if you're working on that, that's going to matter. And your marriage is not going to look like the other ones. Even though you're married to the same man, it will not look the same. So don't try to be that. He didn't marry you know, people just so they could just be carbon copies of the other. So anyway, <laughs> um, develop the next D, develop. And develop in that part is personal development, is being self-aware. I'm going to get more on the house, like I said, in the challenge. So definitely be a part of that. Um, and I'm going to run through this and I'm going to take questions. So um, the personal development, what does that look like? That's, the, of course, the development of your person. That's the books you read. That's the audios you listen to. That's the um, courses that you take. That's the trainings that you you are a part of, the challenges <laughs> that you are a part of, the things that you are work, you're doing, that you are investing in to improve on yourself. We're always, if we want to get better, we should always be working on ourselves to improve ourselves. You're either living or you're dying. <laughs> you're either growing or you're dwindling away. There's no stagnant. There's no in between. So if you're not constantly improving, you're constantly not feeding, you're not constantly feeding into yourself that good stuff, you're going to be depressed. You're going to be um, down. You're going to be upset. You're going to be jealous. And I mean, not just jealous that like the jealousy ha is going to happen because that's going to happen, but it's going to be where the jealousy is going to infect you as well as affect you in a negative way. So um, so you want to make sure that you're self-aware, that you're being conscious of how you're behaving, what that looks like when your husband says something and then really thinking about, OK, did he say what he said? You know what I thought he said, or did I put more on it? Did I put more oof <laughs> on what he said? And if I did, or if I didn't, or I don't, I don't know. Let me ask. I've done that with Coach on there a number of times where I'm asking him certain things, and this is what I'll say. I'll say, "Well, I'm asking you for clarity because I don't want him to think that I'm interrogating him, um, and I don't want him to think that." I'm being sarcastic because sometimes it could come out in my voice or it may sound that way. And I could have probably been thinking of something else or the kids could have kind of got on my nerves or something. 
but he may have said something to me or he may have made a comment and then my jealous streak would be like what'd you say that for or what's that about whatever <laughs> what's up with that and then before that comes out or even if that did come out i'm a very I'm very good at apologizing. I, I, I used to think that that was a bad thing because people made it seem like that was a bad thing for me. It was like, you apologize. Why are you always apologizing? And I used to think that, oh man, I'm just a big mess up then if I'm always apologizing. No, what I do is I apologize for my part. My part could be that I didn't understand what you said. My part could be that um, I may have said something in a way that you may have taken wrong. However, that's still you. That's a you thing, not a me thing. But I said, you know what? I, maybe I could have said it better. I'm going to tell you what I asked Coach Not There one day. I asked him, we had a conversation and I asked him, I said, what could I have done better? That was my question to him. And I was genuinely, I wanted to know the answer. I said, if you felt a way or I did something to upset you possibly, or it was something that just didn't, didn't, mow over properly i want to know what i could have done better or what i what could i have done better because i don't know may i thought i was all good <laughs> i thought i probably said something you know and he told me and i was like okay i listened i didn't say okay but i listened to it i didn't i didn't re do a rebuttal and i've done that on a number of occasions and that's not a good thing so you know and we can sit there and say, well, the other person don't do that. The other person, it's not about them. It's about you being a better you. Because over time, when you are constantly improving on yourself, it's going to rub off. Two things are going to happen. One or two things are going to happen. It's either going to rub off on them and they're going to get better or they're going to strive to be better or they are going to disconnect. Either way, it's a win. If you're getting better, do you want someone dragging you down? If you're getting better, don't you want your husband to be getting better too? Without being a nag and forcing them or thinking that it has to be your way or the highway. So that's what, what our part is. We can do our part. Um, the next thing, and that's being self-aware and that's the thing. And of course, like I said, I'll give you guys just some little tidbits because the challenge is going to be, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm excited about it. So, um, the next one is the next D is design. Your design is your plan. You know, you plan for your marriage to be great. You plan for your life to be great. Not only I have this challenge coming up, I have this course that is going to be the bomb. I feel like it's going to be Bob because I'm getting a lot of feedback from you guys. And I'm like, oh, this is awesome. This is what it's going to be. This is what it's going to look like. It's not just something that, oh, yeah, this is what Coach Nyla decided that you guys should learn. <laughs> so <laughs> this is what you do. No, it's like this feedback. I'm hearing what you're asking. I'm hearing what you're saying. And it makes a lot of sense. And. It's like, okay, well, if I know these things or I know people that know these things, then I want to get that in front of you. So the course, that's a whole other thing. But the challenge, <laughs> we're going to focus on the challenge right now. And the challenge is going to be awesome as well. So make sure you sign up for that. I'm going to keep pushing that challenge because it's, it's going to be amazing. So make sure you're on our email list too because you're going to get um, different updates um, about that too. Um, because I have my general admission and I have my VIP admission too for the challenge. It's like five days, you guys. And that's just me saying it's five days right now. I may, as we're in the challenge, I may say, oh, you know what? We might extend it. I don't know. You never know. <laughs> you never know. So, but the, the design, the plan, what does that look like? What does that look like? And that's after you define these things. That's after you develop you know, or you go through the development stages where you're into the personal development. I know that when I'm not in personal development, ooh, it's like when you stop taking a shower for a minute, the attitude starts to stink. <laughs> it starts to stink. So you want to make sure that you're constantly in that personal development and you're self-aware. Like I said, you're aware of the energy that's coming in, the energy that you're giving, that you're giving to, and then being, um, getting clarity about that from your spouse. You know, this is a person that you should have peace with. You know, you should have peace with them and they should have peace with you, right? 
So that the last one is detox. And of course I said it's the jealousy detox, but detox is the part where you're purging the jealousy. You're putting the plan in place. You're taking the action. You're taking the action. We can plan the detox, right? I think about um, health detox when we're detoxing for health. We can plan, 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 but that detox doesn't work. It doesn't happen until we do the action, right? So that's what the detox part is about. So I'm going to get off here in a second. You guys put your um, put your comments, I mean, your, your, your questions below. I'm going to take um, a few questions um, before I get up out of here. Um, I have a number of things planned for the day and I still got to get things together for this challenge. So I'm super excited about, but I had to say, Hey, to you guys, I had to put this out here um, because it's been on my mind a lot and I've been planning for it. So I was like, let me at least do um, a teaching chat um, on the jealousy detox. So yes, let me take some of these questions now. Oh, what? <laughs> hey, Dope Law. What other children's programs do you recommend for children? Okay, another one. Now, these things are old. Here's the interesting, interesting thing. I am still so old school. The things that I grew, the, the, the um, shows that I grew up with, those are the ones I kind of have my children on or things that are kind of remixes that are still good, that's still wholesome. Oh, you guys, if you understand, if you you know, you know. Because um, in, in in the US, it's really, it's, 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 it's slim pickings. So um, Daniel Tiger is one that, of course, that I recommend, and I say it a lot, but Daniel Tiger, of course, is kind of a remake, or a, I don't know if I want to say really a remake, it's like a an addition to Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. So a lot of the wholesome stuff that he put out there, Daniel Tiger has, you know, it's, it's in the Daniel Tiger show. Of course, I'm Muslim, so a number of different things. Um, and for my Muslim people out there and those who aren't Muslim who definitely want some wholesome um, shows for their kids, it's a, a website called One for Kids. Um, and it's really, really good. There's a lot of wholesome information on there. I think it's One for Kids TV or something like that. And I think the characters are like Aussie, but they're uh, cartoon characters. <laughs> so that um, another one is Bluey, um, which are like Aussie characters. Um, so it shows a number of different things um, of how to treat people and different lessons. And I watch these with my children. And so we can discuss what happened and what they would have done and these different things like that. So I really, really like that. Um, and the old school, one of the old school things, and I can't say old school, my, my older children have watched this, but the show doesn't seem like it's in syndication anymore, um, is called Timothy Goes to School. That's another one. And then there's one more that I can think off the top of my head, and that is uh, Todd's World. So yeah, I'll... Um, <laughs> put the stuff down there. But those are the things that I would recommend. Um, so, but oneforkids.tv is a website and it's um, a YouTube channel and it has a, um, a number of different shows on that, um, on that channel. So let's see. Oh, okay. I hope that helped double off. Okay, another one. Do you remember the bread and milk <laughs> you, you used when they were one years old, like pork liver? No, it's totally off topic. And yeah, I I didn't use the brand of, well, when they got older to drink milk, um, I was, I did like a lactose free type of milk, <laughs> but something with fat, you got to just make sure your kids get the fat that they need. Okay. That's about it. I don't know where these questions coming from, no, no, but I'm not going to skip your questions. Uh, blessings to you and your family. May Allah guide you to perfection. Uh, I don't know who I mean. Just, you know, continue to make dua for our family. Um, I would just say, you know, I don't know if perfection is what we're striving for, but definitely progress, you know? So definitely progress. And if we can do what we can do to, you know, earn our spot in Jannah, you know, or in paradise, then definitely, um, alhamdulillah. <laughs> and, you know, thank you for the duas and yeah. And much love to you and may Allah continue to uh, bless you and grant you peace in this life and the next, inshallah. I mean, so, um, they watch PBS. Yeah. 
we do we actually had a PBS kids family night um yesterday last night <laughs> where that's what they do like on Fridays or on the weekends and so I'll watch the different shows with the kids and we'll discuss it and if it's something that is not for them you know because like I said it's definitely different now especially in the states you know you may really have to monitor those things <laughs> I'm like, you want more I watch you. Thank you so much. You know, I try to get my personality to shine a little bit, you know. <laughs> Timothy goes to school. You remember Timothy goes to school? Yes. So whatever. No, no problem, Dope Law. Any more questions? Um, if you guys have any more questions, I am going to um, close out in a second. But definitely make sure you check us out, um, especially the community. Um, not the community, excuse me. Well, the community, yes, it's a community too, but our campus on polygamyeducation.com. Like I said, we've been traveling, so we weren't doing a whole lot of, um, of the live classes that we were doing before, but um, inshallah, God willing, we will be back on that, on um, a you know, schedule. I know I will be back doing um, a couple of more, a couple of classes I was doing before. I was doing um, My Your Marriage Mondays, so um, I may get back to doing that um, since it is the um, the start of a new month and all the um, other good things like that. And we're kind of settling um, with some new revamps that we are doing with the business. So I'm excited about a lot of the different things that you guys are going to see in store, um, especially when it comes to all of all over peace and fulfillment in your marriage. So, you know, it's about mindset. It's about money. It's about motivation. It's about those different things uh, because those things are important when it comes to having peace and fulfillment and, um, and leaving that lasting legacy when it comes to our marriages, even if it's something as, um, I'm not going to even say taboo, but it's not as um, prevalent or put out there as much as polygyny, you know? So, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Coach Nathir, <laughs> for the answer. Okay, yes. All right. Any more questions? Uh, Mufti, me, yeah, we use. Okay, you know what? This is a question. Here we go. Uh, Mufti Mink lectures, yes. Um, on it's a it's a channel called Iman Iman channel, if I'm not mistaken, on YouTube that has some really good children stuff, and they actually have some live things as well um, that the children's like little games that children can play um, on there. So yeah. Check it out. I mean, you know, I'm not getting endorsed or anything like that by that, but I love to share. Sharing is caring. So, you know, um, guys, definitely um, thank you so much for your time. I truly um, uh, appreciate it. And just as Coach Nadir said, I'm going to actually put this on the screen, too. Uh, with PBS, we limit the screen time. <laughs> we limit the screen time. Screen times. Apparently, I can't talk today uh, with our children um, and we do specific movies like we are very um, um, intentional when it comes to the things that they watch. So either it's things that we've seen before or we're watching it with them and we're discussing what's going on. So, all righty. If that is that. All right. So. <laughs> Thank you guys again for spending this time with me. I look forward to um, seeing you guys later. Also, I really look forward to seeing you guys in the challenge. And if you guys have not signed up yet or you guys have not um, registered for um, our email list when we're talking about um, our, our uh, travels and the uh, different adventures that we've um, that we've taken over the past year plus, <laughs> definitely make sure um, you go and sign up for that. Make sure you go and um, check that out. Coach there, if you're still on here, do we have that link for them? 
I'm going to try to see if I can check it before I sign out. But um, definitely make sure, oops, let me get this off of here. Make sure you check that um, check that out because we are doing a live tomorrow and we're going to discuss what we did um, to travel <laughs> um, to different countries with our large polygynous family. All right. <laughs> all right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Like I said, I'm going to try to check. I thought I took this off of here. Just to make sure I don't see it. I don't see it. So just go to outstandingpersonalrelationships.com and you'll got, you guys will be able to um, get the information there. And until next time, make sure you're growing intentionally, loving fearlessly and connecting on a higher level every single day. It's your coach, Coach Nyla. I will see you soon, inshallah. God willing. Have a great day. Assalamu alaikum. Peace.